Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going through a bunch of the basics and the essentials for beach fishing, the things that you need to know to catch some fish right off the bat. So stay tuned. All right, we're on our journey. We got our salt baits. We've got our food and drinks. Got our cameras. And show them, our, show them my rod setup right now. Okay, look at that setup. He's got the rods, he got the tubes, he got all his surf gear, bucket, and that's it. And we're coming here at, at low tide, which is gonna be awesome. We're gonna look for some shark teeth. Yep. We're gonna catch some whiting. Yep. We're gonna find a good spot to fish. So low. Low tide. Ew. Someone didn't clean up their dog poop. Look at that. See, the nice part about coming here during low tide is you'll, you're able to see all the structure here when the water is gone. So when you come back on high tide, you know that you know you see this this channel right here. It's gonna be a good, probably gonna be a good spot right here. All right, so we've got to our spot, and I want to talk to you guys about some things that I'm looking at. Okay, so first I'm looking at the, the tides. I'm looking to see the white caps on the ends of each of the waves. This will signify where the sandbars are and where the troughs are. Where I see the, the waves breaking, that's where the sandbar is. In front and behind the sandbar will be the troughs. That's where you're looking to cast. And what I'm really looking for, and I'm gonna put a diagram up here, is two sandbars with flowing water in between them. I want to stress the importance of being able to read the waves and the tides. Fish come in during certain tides. During certain tides, there's pretty much nothing. So good tides to fish, moving tides. Two hours before, two hours after, high and low tide. So for example, if high tide's at six o'clock, get there at six, seven, eight. But even if it is the correct tide and it's a moving tide, it does not necessarily mean that fish will come in. I have the bait runner, 4,500 by Shimano. You can use this one for us, Quixote. Oh, thanks, Professor. One, two, three, uh, four, five. And then back to the first loop. Beautiful. Oh, it's so good. I want to show you guys a little trick okay. when putting bait on a hook. Instead of putting something on a hook like this over and over and over again, this looks unnatural. It flows unnaturally in there. Right? It just it starts to flow weird. Mm -hmm. Right? So I learned this at a fishing seminar when I was in Edison, New Jersey. You hook it once through, and then you cut it, you round it off, just like that. And in the water, it'll flow much more naturally. So let's give that a try. Here's one. Does that look good? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna look for stuff. I'm gonna, I'll watch. Okay. okay. I shouldn't put my bait runner on. I don't need to put my bait runner on. That one. Oh, oh, oh. Nice! Nice! Yes. That's a big old That's one! That's a really nice one. Good I'm job, very man. happy about that. Nice. That, baby. that was only like two minutes of looking. Oh. Almost lost my place. I'll have to move up soon. Ah. I got a 
fish on. It literally pulled the rod into the sand. This is on this is on the the salty squid. That's my rod. Here, take it then. Take it. <laughs> Here. Whoa. Take my Whoa. Up on there. Bring him up. Whoa. Careful, careful. Yeah, I think it's a pompano. That's a big one. Don't be careful. Be careful. It's coming up. Oh, it's a shark. No, it's not. Oh my God! Bring it up! Bring it up! Whoa! That's our squid, Aaron. That's a keeper pompano. Oh! That's dinner. Oh my gosh! That's actually dinner. Wow. Oh yeah. I'm so happy. Good job. That's just on the squid, huh? We gotta do it again. Literally squid in these beads. We were just looking for shark teeth, and then this thing started going off like crazy. Is your adrenaline going or yes, what? Did you see my leg shaking? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Woo. It pulled the spike out of the ground. Yeah. I thought I put it in pretty. Oh man. That was really strong. Yeah. That was really strong. And look at what it did. And this can go right back out there. Yep. The fishing gods have gave, given you a pompano here. Oh, fight! Fight, 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 oh. fight, fight! Oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the big one. Oh my gosh. You Steven called that. I didn't know that the squid would catch, I didn't know the squid would catch pompano. So I'm feeding my fish right now, so I don't have to do it when I get home. Uh -huh. You wanna be careful not to slice into the bile. Then we just rip the guts out. Oh. Just like that. That's it. Fish. Stevie, Stevie you wanna eat the freshest sashimi ever? Hey, <laughs> you wanna? Sushi. Sushi eat the... The heart. That's a no. That's a strong no. Strong no. Okay. You want to get this bloodline right here, especially. And then you wash that out. We came at low tide. We were here about an hour after low tide and we started looking for shark teeth. So about two hours after low tide, when the water started moving yeah. in again, that's when they started biting. Yeah. And that's the usual story. So, whoa. Did you see something in the monitor? Had a great day. I hope that you guys learned a little something something. Yeah. If not, you know, I hope you had a good time hanging out with us for a little bit. Okay. Um, this is what we love doing. If you want to try our bait out, SenkoSkipper.com. There's two types available. Today, all we were using was the uncut, the, the entire mantle of the squid. Mm -hmm. um, usually, when we're jigging with bucktails, mm -hmm. we're using the tentacles. My surf rods are strapped onto my backpack here. The three straps here. This isn't coming off. This side, my poles are strapped down. I got everything I need now. Very the nice. traveling fisherman. The That's traveling how you do it. Fisherman. Wow, we're so portable. We packed up in like two seconds. I know. We should do this again. We should do it tomorrow. All right, guys, now that we're back at home, I'm gonna cook this up. Let's take a look at our pompano. I'm so glad I already cleaned them all out at the beach. You know, I don't have sand or anything in here already. They're all clean. Jeez Louise, that is a massive one. Good job, Aaron, look at that. Here is what we're gonna do. Gonna cut some slits in here. Just like this. Just like this, and we're gonna put salt in between here. There we 
go. So now we're gonna kosher salt it. Salt it immediately, right when we get back. And that'll start to make the meat nice and delicious. All right, here's your big fish, Aaron. Wow! That was so fun. So it's been maybe, what, 12 hours since we caught this? So look, I've dried it off a little bit with the salt and the, the paper towels, so now the meat is not is not too moist. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be nice and chewy when I put it on the grill. Yeah. And I'm literally just gonna slap this whole thing on the grill. And you keep the skin on um, because it'll get nice and crispy and you'll see, you'll see, it's, it'll be great. We'll see. All right, I think it's done. Oh yeah, that looks done. We're gonna put this on a bed of asparagus. And we are gonna head inside this screened main room here, just because it's so hot out. So we keep it whole. We keep it on the on the on the fish. We don't fillet it because you can just pick it right off, just like that. You see how it just comes right off? This way, you don't waste a bunch of meat. You know. And it just comes right off. Just comes right off. We have not had pompano for a while. I don't really remember what it tastes like even. I just had a little taste earlier and I remember it was delicious. Look at that. Coming right off. Very fresh meat. You know, suck on the bones later. <laughs> and the best part. Head meat. I'm gonna take the whole head. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Everyone raise a fork of pompano. Mm -hmm. Ready? Raise your forks. One, two, three, skipper! Mmm. Mmm, -hmm. really good. How would you describe that, Stephen? Very buttery and smooth. Buttery and smooth, I can agree with that. Mm -hmm. It's white meat, the texture is, um, is, is not too tough. Mm -mm. It's very buttery and, mm -hmm. and, and silky. Mm -hmm. And um, this is great. And we're enjoying it without smothering it in, in like Anything? sauces, very heavy sauces. It's just the natural fish with the salt. And when a fish is good like that, you know it's a good fish. Here, try this. See, here's the bone. You just, you, you literally just eat it right off the bone. Hmm. That's hmm. all you do. How is it? Good. It's great. It's super delicious. Mmm. That was like the best rib I've ever had in my life. Mm. <laughs> it's so soft. Yeah, it just fell off the bone. That was delicious. Very happy. Thank you guys I'm for joining full. us. Oh, I got the itis. What the, what the? the itis? The itis. You know what the itis is? Mm -mm. Tell me you guys know what the itis is. Wait, yikes. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what it is. <laughs> what kind of reaction was that? Yikes. yikes. I don't know what it is. You Everyone's what the itis gonna is? be like, no I can't idea. I can't believe you oh know. Oh my it is. god. I'm not even gonna explain it. Yeah, I know everyone's gonna explain it to me. That's why my reaction Comment is. Comment below yikes. if you guys know what the itis is. Yikes. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.